Smile and learn. Hi, everyone. Let me ask you a question. Do you like rap? Have you ever listened to blues music? How about country music? Well, listen up, because today we're going to learn about these and other genres of music. It's going to be awesome. Remember that genre means type or style of music. Each genre of music is different. There are differences in how they sound, how people play them, what instruments people play, and even where they come from. Let's get started. Rap. We'll start with rap. Rap started in the 1970s in big cities in the United States. We call rap singers rappers. They have a very unique way of making music. Rappers sing very fast, and they use a similar pitch throughout the whole song, so sometimes it sounds like they are talking. But if you pay close attention, the lyrics rhyme just like a poem. Rappers experiment a lot with the sound of words to generate different kinds of effects. Have you ever noticed this? Normally, rap is accompanied by other instruments that produce a repetitive rhythm. Rap music can be very fast. Have you ever heard of hip-hop DJs? DJs normally accompany rappers. They play the music, or track, that we hear in the background on rap songs. Let's listen to a bit of rap music now. Blues. In English, we know that blue is a color, but right now we're not talking about colors. Blues is a type of music that began in the beginning of the 20th century. It is mainly a vocal style of music, which means that although people play instruments, the singer is the star. The singer expresses emotions such as sadness and heartbreak through the lyrics of the song. The notes of blues songs have a special characteristic, and that is that they sound very sad. What do you feel when you listen to blues? Let's listen to it. Gospel. And what about gospel music? Gospel music is a type of religious music created by the enslaved people who lived in the United States between the 17th and 19th centuries. Typical instruments in gospel music include tambourines, pianos, organs, guitars, and other stringed instruments, as well as some wind instruments. In gospel music, we hear groups of singers called choirs, as well as call-and-response structures. This means that the lead singer sings something, and the choir answers them. Let's listen to some gospel. Disco. Disco music started in the 70s. In disco music, we can hear simple lyrics and electronically created sounds. Disco music is a type of music made mainly for dancing in discos and nightclubs. Doesn't that sound like fun? You can hear electric guitar, electric basses, keyboards, and drums in disco music. Come on, let's dance! Country music. Finally, let's take a look at country music. It is a type of music that was born in the rural regions of the southern United States in the early 20th century. In country music, we hear a mixture of slow and fast rhythms. Stringed instruments such as the violin, guitar, and bass, along with the piano and percussion instruments, are the most typical in country music. But we can also hear another interesting instrument in country music, the banjo. The banjo is similar to a guitar and has four, five, or six strings. Its body looks like a drum, and people usually play it very fast.
Wow, aren't these music genres fantastic? Which one is your favorite? Did you like rap? Blues? Gospel? Disco? Or country the best? I think they're all great! Well, that's all for today, friends, but we still have a lot more genres of music left to learn about. We'll continue looking at them in the next episode, so don't miss it! See you next time! We've learned so much in just one video! Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn! Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time!